So in this video, we want to talk about exactly how we can use Minitab. Minitab can be used in a web browser just like D2L now. And so the easiest way to get to Minitab is you can either open a new tab and do app.minitab.com and go there um, from app.minitab.com or you can find the link if you can't remember the link. You can find the link under content in your D2L course. It's of course in the mini tab section and at the very top it says mini tab link and that will also open a mini tab window. Uh, once you're in here, if you are the person assigned to do mini tab for project one, you will want to pull in your, you want to type in your data or pull in your data from an Excel file. Um, if you've copied and pasted everything into Excel and to uh, pull in from an Excel file, you can click file and then open and then worksheet uh, and find your Excel file from the local file that you have on your hard drive. Uh, and that'll let you uh, find the particular Excel file. Um, so Excel files will show up here as selectable. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and then once you finish, uh, you can do file, download a copy. And that'll put a copy onto your hard drive. Uh, so I have untitled here. Uh, and then if I were to download another, make changes um, and download another copy, um, I can continue without autosave um, and then download another copy. Uh, then it'll add the one there. And so you can tell what your most recent one is because it'll have the highest number. Um, so again, if I make another change and download another copy, it'll have the highest number. Now, for those who are uh, opening a file that the Minitab person in their group created, what you'll want to do is you'll want to find that file that the person in your group created, and it should be stored in the Dropbox. So tasks and then assignments, uh, and then, okay, here it will, let me click on this link. And this is if I want to see the project one submission. Uh, I think, What yours will, will look a little bit different because you're an actual student, but hopefully it won't look too different. We want to click on the actual MPX link because that's what I will be looking at is um, to grade. And so now it's downloaded, but if I try double clicking on this, it's um, going to either give me an error message because it won't know how to open it, or uh, if you have an old version, of Minitab on your computer. It might say license ex expired or something like that. We don't want to open this that way. We want to go to our Minitab window in the browser or tab and Minitab tab in the browser and we're going to click file open and then project and it's a local file because we've shared it on our local computer and then OK uh, and then if I'm going to open the mini tab 1530 that I just downloaded uh, as the project one and then here it is and I can continue without autosave always select that as your option because I've had students try to do these first two and they haven't been able to do it very effectively um, so this is the easiest option so just always go with continue without autosave and uh, then you can copy and paste. So if you have, uh, a new document, a new Word document opened, 
then you can uh, take any function or table or whatever you need in here. Um, let's say we need this graph and we can use the little carrots that are beside it and do copy graph and then uh, paste into our document. And so you see the graph there. Uh, and then if we need, um, let's say, a tally, the best way to do a tally, um, it's going to copy all of the tallies. So you would do copy and then uh, paste, but you're going to want to delete off the, the parts, the uh, columns that aren't part of your variable. Or you could uh, use a screenshot if you know how to do screenshots. And if you don't, um, there on the Mac, uh, you can just type the spotlight search and type in screenshot. You could probably do the same thing on a PC as well. Uh, on a PC, I used to know what it was called, but I can't. But I bet if you type in screenshot, it'll come up because it has a program too that you that will allow you to take screenshots, and then you could take a screen picture of just your variable. So um, let's say just my variable that I wanted was the most visited aisle here, and I could take a picture of this most visited aisle, um, or let's say that I wanted. Um, the gender, then I could take a picture of just the gender. And then if I do make changes, of course, I want to do file and download a copy. And that will download a new copy uh, if I've made corrections. And I can upload it to the Dropbox in that case. Um, so that's how you can use Minitab. Uh, the very basics. There is another video that shows in detail how to do all the Project 1 functions. Um, that's really good for the person who is in charge of Project 1.